Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's another example of how to do some derivatives. And in this case, we're going to show you how to use the chain rule. And here's the general formula of how you apply the chain rule. So let's say you have a function of x that is raised to some exponent, and you want to take the derivative of that. So what you do then is you take the exponent, put it in front, multiply it times a function, raised to the exponent minus 1. That kind of looks familiar, like the ones we have up there. But then you have to multiply that times the derivative of the function inside. So let's do that. Here's the example. So if we want to take the derivative of that, so y prime is equal to, we take the exponent, put it in front, 4 times x cubed plus 3x squared to the 4 minus 1, so we subtract from the exponent, and then we have to multiply that times the exponent of what's inside the parentheses, the function of x inside, and so for that we use the rules that we've learned over here, goes up there, <clears throat> and so that means we're going to write 3x to the 3 minus 1 plus 3 times 2x to the 2 minus 1, like that. And then we simplify, so this is equal to 4 times x cubed plus 3x squared to the third power times 3x to the second power plus 6x to the first power and that's the derivative of our original function. Okay, so let's do the second example. Now you say, well, wait a minute, I, I can't use the chain rule here because that looks like a quotient, and the, for that we normally would use the quotient rule, but since we have a one up there, we can actually rewrite this as y is equal to, bring this to the numerator and write it as 2x squared plus 5x raised to the minus three power. And then we use the chain rule in the same way that we did in our first example. So we then say y prime, which is the derivative of y, is equal to, bring the exponent forward, minus 3 times what's inside, 2x squared plus 5x, to the exponent minus 1, we can do that all at once, so minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4, times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses, the function of x inside the parentheses, so that would be 4x <clears throat> to the first power plus 5. And then, since that's a negative exponent, we can bring it back to the bottom. We can then say y prime is equal to minus 3 times 4x plus 5 divided by this brought to the bottom, which is 2x squared plus 5x to the fourth power. And that's the derivative of that function. So that's how you apply the chain rule. Just again, a little summary. Whenever you have a problem like this, where you have a function of x raised to some exponent, you bring the exponent to the front, write the function to the exponent minus 1, and then you multiply that times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses, the, x, the function of x, like this, and of course you have the exponent minus 1, so you rewrite it in that form right there. In the case they have a problem like this where the function is in the denominator, you can move it to the numerator, write it to a negative exponent, and then apply the same chain rule, uh, rule there to get the derivative. All right, so that's how you do that. And on to the next type of derivative on our next video.